<laughs> morning YouTubers, Russell Pearson here. Uh, it's uh, cold and wet this morning and uh, yesterday uh, I went and picked up a whole bunch of different things. Um, some from the wreckers and some from down my, uh, my dad's place. But uh, the, the wreckers was awesome. Uh, I, I was able to grab myself a steel table, uh, not just the frame but actually uh, the majority of the table itself that I can use as a workbench. For 20 bucks so uh, I'm gonna be bringing that back up to uh, my place soon um, but you'll see that in a later video uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I'm doing regarding the forge itself uh, some of the pieces that I've, I've got to put that together and uh, and the table I'm using as a stand so uh, let's switch over to that so this is the frame I'm going to be using for the forge and uh, as you can see it's, it's a steel base but it's basically just an old school table uh, and it was missing a couple of things, so I've added in, basically welded in a uh, a piece of uh, edging there, because what I'm actually looking to do is put some pieces to go right across here to brace the brake drum that's going to go into the middle. And to uh, show you a couple of those pieces, here's what we're looking at. So it's got some old scrap metal that we're actually going to be used to uh, put in place a little bit like that and then we're going to actually fix the the brake drum with a piece of steel on the top and uh, here is the brake drum itself which is kind of awesome uh, and gone to the trouble of getting the uh, piece of steel with the holes through it which obviously massive piece of work and uh, thanks dad for that one <laughs> he helped me with that uh, can't stop him anyway even if I wanted to so the um, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to screw the piece of steel onto the brake drum so the brake drum comes off just like that put the steel on here the bolts are actually going to be up the other way so we'll actually We'll actually have them facing down. So just for the moment, just for ease of use, I'm just putting them this way so that I can just connect it so that I can see how it's all going to play out. But I'll uh, I'll see if I can. I won't be able to lift it with the camera as well. So just hang on one moment. All right. So hopefully you can see that there. We've got so we've got our two pieces of steel here, which we're going to uh, weld on. Then we've got. <sighs> Our steel and our brake drum to go in here, around about there. And ideally then it's going to sit fairly flush to the top. And uh, we're going to put in a couple more things, which I will grab. We're going to grab a couple more pieces of this. And uh, ideally we'll put it sitting up under here. In there and then put a, a piece of plate steel actually as a, as a bit of a tabletop so put another one over, over like that so ideally that would be enough um, uh, and then you know the, the, the forge would work pretty much how we want it we want to be able to lay steel down over the top which is cool but what we wouldn't be able to do is get the coals up and sort of over the piece because um, you want to actually be able to you know, put it in in the hot coals. So uh, we've seen a couple of things on YouTube on how to get that done. Uh, and here's one I've started to prepare earlier. So a bit of plate steel and uh, basically what we're going to be doing is putting that inside. And just to confirm, it's actually going to go that way. So there's going to be a piece on this side and then there's going to be a piece on this side. So in the end, we end, we actually create a, a bit of a wedge, and the the opening is actually going to be which way is it? This way, I think. Actually, so our wedge is going to be like this. So we're able to actually get those coals up and over, and uh, and be able to heat up whatever piece of metal we've actually got in there. Now I've got to lay it down more. At the moment, I don't think it's got enough of an angle on it, and uh, so I've got to cut out some more of the pieces here, and here. So it lays down a little easier. Like we can actually get it to lay down now, but then it closes over the hole, and uh, obviously we need the hole for the air to come up through. So we've uh, oh, well started making these little brackets 
you can see there. Basically, it's a piece of steel that we've uh, that I've bent and then uh, cut out pretty roughly area for some, some screws to go in. That's going to go on the back, basically like that. You can see that. That way, we don't actually have to weld everything together. And this is um, this is cast iron anyway. This these are going to be actually very difficult to weld anything to it, but. If we can get the, uh, we'll get some screws in the back, we'll be able to take these off, put them back on as we like, or at least that's the idea. So, the one piece is still there, I've got another piece here, which is gonna be coming in that way, obviously I need to, to cut it, um, but I'll show you that as we go through the process. But I just wanna show you all the pieces and ideally what we're putting together. So there's a couple more, so that's that. <laughs> obviously, you've seen in an earlier video that we've got the, uh, the inflow pipe or valve, or yeah, it's a pipe. Um, and uh, the thought process was, was that we were going to put it again on the on a piece of square pipe. Now I've seen a lot of people use uh, sort of plumber's pipe so that you can you've got the thread and you can actually just thread it on and off. Uh, with this one, uh, we decided not to do that. And part of that is because I'm, I'm actually um, wanting to get better at welding, so I want to do a bit of that myself. But uh, uh, the other side is that we wanted to. Do, just get scrap and a lot of that plumber's pipe uh, or steel threaded pipe is actually um, not as easy to come by around here anyway. Uh, people still use it and uh, they use it for all sorts of different things and it's, uh, it's not, not expensive but it's not cheap. So basically what we've got is this square piece of steel here. Uh, we've cut a hole through the center there and we were wondering whether the best idea was to actually weld this onto the end like so. But I've decided what I want to be able to do is pull it apart. So we put some holes through here and here and uh, we're gonna just screw those on. So we'll just use some bolts, get that to go in like that. And that will sit underneath here like so. All right, so that'll go up underneath there. I'll show you more when we're actually doing that. One final thing. And uh, I might grab the camera for this one. So ideally that's how that's going to sit in there. <laughs> and uh, here's some more bad welding by me. So, here's the pipe. I've just started <laughs> just heating uh, heating up the uh, the stick here. I uh, can clean that all up later. But, ba but what we're doing here is I'm creating the spot at the bottom where the where we can prevent slag and what have you from falling onto the ground, so hot stuff. And, uh, and what we've done is create this handle that actually has a fair bit of weight on it, this piece of steel and this hinge. So I'm glad I did practice um, with some of this welding because obviously the hinge is very, very thin metal and uh, it was very easy to burn through that. So I was, even though this looks rubbish, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we've got it on there without actually losing anything able to get it on the first go. So when it sits up, this chamber closes off because of the weight of this steel here. So I'll show you when we have to just pick it up, it's just, it just closes off. Now you can see if you look there, there's a little bit of light showing through. That's just because I don't have enough weight on the end of, of this handle. So I'm gonna add some more weight to the end of that handle there and, uh, and then it does close because uh, I've, I've tried just putting just a few more grams of, of weight on there and that, that actually does the trick and then it closes quite solidly. So that's, that's what I've been up to in putting these pieces together and I'll, I'll show you more as we actually go through the process of, of doing it but I wanted to show you where we're at. So the hot tip is if you're doing work out the front, which is what I've done, or at least work outside, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you either know what's going to happen with the weather uh, or that you put your tools away. So I came out here in the middle of the night and it was pouring down and I found the arc welder sitting on the ground and uh, a flood of water coming through. So I, I, I think I've saved it, but um, that was a bit touch and go. If I'd left that all night or slept right through, uh, I think I would have found uh, that I would need another welder first thing this morning. So 
that's where we're at. Thank you for watching. Um, looking forward to getting this forge together. It's probably only going to be a week away, and, uh, and then we can start heating up some metal. Thanks for watching.